tower comes down, the shields will too. Fox 3, report! Did you take down the tower? Negative, Marshal! Barely scratch the surface! Take another precedent! Destroy the tower and leave the rest to us! I'll get it done! Warning, extraterrestrials from outer space arrived on our planet bringing promises of a bright new future for the Earthlings. However, this intergalactic partnership soon reveals its darker side as the Vega Corporation, the alien enterprise led by the hideous Director Zarog, is imposing its predatory politics on humankind. In the midst of this oppression, the rebel group Squadron 51 rises as a response against the violent acts spread by these inhuman beings. Will the brave pilots of Squadron 51 and their aircrafts stand a chance against the Zarog's diabolic fleet of flying saucers? Hello everyone, I'm Dan and big thanks to Vicarious for providing this review copy. Now let's get started. Earth, the third planet of our solar system. In the short time since we were discovered by our extraterrestrial friends, our society has undergone countless changes for the better. Thanks to them, we have reached new heights of progress and modernization. And from this point on, their involvement with us is guaranteed to shape our lives for generations to come. Join the rebel cause as Lieutenant Kaya, facing flying saucers, alien fighters and monsters in the skies of the 1950s. The first thing you'll notice is the art style. The game is presented in glorious black and white aesthetics, live action FMV sequences and dubbed voices in cutscenes and during the gameplay that will tell the story of the battle between Squadron 51 and Director Zarag's alien supremacy. It really captures that 50s B-movie feel and gives the game a cinematic experience. Bullets will be flying, explosions will be going off and your squadron will at times fly off screen in front of you. Everything feels action packed. Squad 51 vs The Flying Saucers is a shoot 'em up game with 4 different aircrafts to play and set up with special weapons. There are 11 levels where you'll fight against enemy ships and bosses in many different environments, snowy mountains, forests, cityscapes and many others. One thing I found was just how challenging the game is, you'll die a lot and that's just on the first level. You'll be able to unlock and upgrade your plane's capabilities which will help you to make it through the levels but if you are really struggling then you can select the option to have unlimited lives so even if you die you can continue throughout the levels. This makes Squad 51 a really accessible game for players of all skill levels. There is also a multiplayer so a second player can enter a level at any time, earn points with your friend and unlock together new special weapons and upgrades. My biggest issue with Squad 51 vs The Flying Saucers is that on some levels, because of the black and white aesthetics, some areas can be very dark and hard to see, especially with so much happening on screen, explosions, bullets flying all over the place. This meant that I ended up crashing into enemies as they flew onto screen or not seeing where my plane was properly. Despite this, I had a lot of fun with this game. I love the aesthetic that done a great job of capturing that 50s B-movie feel. It's challenging, but with its dynamic difficulty system, it doesn't have to feel frustrating. The controls are easy to learn, which means players of all skill levels can pick this one up and enjoy it. Squad 51 vs The Flying Saucers is available now on the Nintendo eShop, priced at $15.49 in the UK and $19.99 in the US. I definitely recommend this one if you're a fan of shoot 'em ups and if you're looking for something new to play on the Nintendo Switch. Hope you like the review. Thanks for watching. If you do like it, hit the like button, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you next time. All teams, we brought the cavalry. Marshal, there's a landing area south of the building. We have a problem. The administration building is well protected. There's an invisible shield above the insulation. We can't penetrate. We won't even get close. We need to shut it off. We won't get anywhere if that shield is up. We'll have to land anyway. 
We can defend our position and advance little by little, but we must do something. The energy sources are origins. If we can shut it down, the shield comes down too, and their defenses will have been neutralized. But we don't know where the source is, evolved. How do we do this? Let's spread out until we find it. Our teams begin to sweep. Move away. 